Hey, Lunatech team, I want to congratulate you on your Amazon's Choice Badge for Lunatech gear on this listing. I know how competitive the category can be, so to see a Choice Badge is really a job well done. Now, my job is to look for potential opportunities with sellers who prioritize on Amazon. And if it's okay with you, I'd like to show you a few opportunities I've found with your listing. My name is Sean, and I'm an account executive with my Amazon guy. So listen, I'll pack this full of valuable information. It's designed to help grow sales. I'll get through the listing in just a minute, but the first thing I want to review are keywords. Now, we utilize this tool to look at sponsored and organic keywords. We do a ton of competitive research and other things. So look in here, no pay-per-click keywords right now, but you do have 620 organic keywords. Now, um, I do recommend growing your organics. Uh, we typically see these in the three to 6,000 range, and we recommend a one to two ratio. But Let's see how you're performing with the keywords that you do have. So as I scroll down, I'd like you to notice that I sorted the keywords by the most searched. And on this far right-hand side is your organic rank. So here we go. Dishes, you're organically 240, 274 for home and kitchen, Swedish dish, dish cloths. I know those are trending on Amazon dish scrubber, camp kitchen accessories, camp kitchen, camping dishes. Interesting. Now, do you see where you're not, look at this, kitchen moth cloths. You're not indexing, but that's very, very relevant to your product. So you should have those words throughout your listing. Cleaning cloth, scrubber, washcloth. I'm really surprised. I, I know that you're, I can tell it looks like you're targeting camping here, but <clears throat> You've got a lot of other exposure that you can get that you're otherwise not receiving now. So let's see if we can put this into context a little bit. Let's see here. Dishcloths for washing dishes. Look at this. So you are organically ranked 245. It's exactly what your product is. And there are over 5,000 people looking for dishcloths for washing dishes on the U.S. marketplace on Amazon this month. So think about what people have to go through to find you for dishcloths for washing dishes, 245 other listings, organic listings, in addition to all of the sponsored listings. And I just want to give you an idea of how much revenue the words dishcloths for washing dishes has generated over the past 30 days for sellers, $1.6 million. So you've got to ask yourself, is that organic rank sufficient enough for you to get your fair share of the revenue earned on this? And looking here, it shows that you did not earn. So I would definitely update your keywords. Um, and when we do that, I'm talking organics. I'm not talking about advertising and pay-per-click, but we look at 10 of your competitors. Um, so speaking of competition, I took these words, odor-free dishcloths from your title. Now I'm not doing any product comparisons, no comparisons on the listing whatsoever. What I want to show you is their advertising plan. Look at this. So they are really doing very well with their organics. They've got almost 4,000 of them. And because of that, they're selling more than you. They've also got 242 sponsored keywords. But even if they weren't using pay-per-click, they would still sell more than you simply because they've got more than four times the keywords that you do. So because of that, they're showing up in a ton more places than you are. And they've sold almost 4,000 units in the past 30 days. So compared to yourselves, and I know these are estimates, but it definitely shows that they are winning with sales. Now, let's talk about your organics and what we can do here at My Amazon Guys. So we break up our SEO process into four phases. And in phase three, we look at those strike zone keywords in spots 20 through 50, those where you're organically on pages two or three. You're very close to page one. So through our SEO process, we would lift you up in the ranks so that instead of being in spot 21 for camp kitchen, cushion, excuse me, camp kitchen, or 50 for silicone dish scrubber, we'd have you in the top 10, right? And these are all organic keywords. So imagine, you know, receiving the traffic and all of the bump that you would receive from that. So definitely shows that we can help grow your organics. Now let's talk about your listing. One thing right away, I'm noticing no brand registry setup. So if you are trademarked, I highly recommend setting up brand registry because of the SEO value built into your brand store that Amazon does. So uh, it would open up a ton more exposure that you're not receiving now. So I'll talk about that in just a minute, but let's do this. I'm gonna go through your, you have two images. 
you need more images. Uh, this is adorable. I love this image. I think it definitely tells the story, but you need more images, at least six images. So two lifestyle, this is one of them, two product images, and then a couple of infographics. You need to sell the story in your pictures too. You want to talk about the features, benefits, um, all of that and put that together in an infographic. Also need video too as well. Um, your title needs to be as close to 200 characters and you are spot on. So well done with that. Your bullets though, this is where you're really suffering. So each bullet should be 250 characters and make sure that you integrate those frequently used words within your content here. That way you can grow your organics. Now, if you were brand registered, it would give you a module uh, which goes just above product description that Amazon just came out with for brand registered sellers in the last uh, seven or eight months. I'm just going to show you an example. This is a listing we put together for our founder uh, on the brand Age of Sage. And look at this. So this is a brand story. So the brand story really helps define your brand. It sets you apart. It zeroes out the noise from all of your com competition. And if you were trademark, you'd have access to this. I do believe in A plus content. Oftentimes that can be the deciding factor between someone choosing you or your competition. So something to think about. Listen here at my Amazon guy, we're a full service 300 person Amazon agency and we grow sales on Amazon. We manage over 300 brands, giving our clients peace of mind knowing Amazon is handled so they can focus on their business. I'd love an opportunity to chat with you. So go ahead and click the link in my email that reads book a call, snag yourself a free consultation. And once you do that, I'll email out the competitive analysis. But thanks very much for watching. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care.